What is up, beautiful people? Chef Mike coming live and direct one more time. Not too sure what it's doing in your neck of the woods, but uh, in Van City here, it's another snowy day. Uh, it's kind of a blessing in disguise for me because I got a whole lot of work to be doing today. So I've been uh, nonstop on the computer and, you know, writing, everything else, right? Just uh, got to keep it moving, right? That grind is 24-7, right? Never ends. Hard work and patience and, yeah, just keep it going. Um, I'm not too sure if any of you are subscribed to my Buddha Be Life uh, YouTube channel. It's uh, I don't want to just post all, constantly in, on Facebook and get all your feeds filled with more of my stuff, uh, website updates and everything else. <laughs> but uh, you know, last week I I quoted a party right, and we'd been constantly talking on the phone and uh, through email and everything else and. Uh, I quoted them the the event and it seemed like it was a go and then they all of a sudden just kind of went out and MIA for a week right and oh man it was brutal it was just like the waiting game and not sure and you know as I've talked about before on my last video on Facebook here right like uh, I've, I've lacked self-confidence right like in in more aspects than just professionally it's been you know in looks and speaking and after the last video I felt kind of weird because I, I, I watched it I felt like maybe I'd been fishing for compliments and then <laughs> I got a you know a couple people messaged me back saying uh, I looked okay thank you so much Tim for, brother I appreciate it uh, always a helpful little boost in the confidence so you know but yeah it's it, the lack of confidence is real right like there, there's always those questions and you know I know like yes like I am I'm a red seal chef right and uh, I have like 20 years experience in, the, in this industry in, in multi fields, right? So, you know, but I think like a lot of people, uh, I I have a, a bad case, or I guess I should say I had a bad case. Now I guess I got a, a moderate case of imposter syndrome, right? Like there's sometimes that little voice in me that just says I'm a fraud, right? And that it comes in so many things, you know, it's um, speaking, public speaking, or you know, talking, just going up and introducing yourself to friends or, you know, looks, like I said, or, you know, whatever. It's, 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 it's real, right? Like uh, that, that little voice in there telling you you're a fraud in, in different aspects, you know, and it has been getting a lot better lately, especially in, in other aspects of my life. Um, but as I said in the last video, I was, I've been stuck in a bit of professional, as I called it, like valley of stagnation, right? Like I've been on this constant climb, momentum, everything was going good. And then just all of a sudden it just kind of came to a stop at the new year. And, you know, um, I hadn't booked any events for the new year. And so I was doubting basically everything I was doing, you know, um, I was wondering if my pricing was correct. Uh, wondering if I was communicating my vision well enough. Um, I appreciate the feedback from people on, on, about my website. Um, but like, I mean, that's the first time I've ever created anything like that. You know, I, I don't know what I'm doing. So it's, it's kind of a game of trial and error. Right. And so there's this, that, that doubt, right? Like hell, even wondering if I was actually talented enough or, or creative enough to, you know, or even just cut out to be doing any of this. It's a, it's a grind and, you know, uh, I don't know, I didn't know or still to this day how how do you ever know until you actually do it until you walk through that wall of fear right and on the other side is is all your dreams right and um i'm starting to actually see that now you know i'm happy to say that i got confirmation of the event it um i got i got they they emailed me yesterday and everything's a go um super proud of myself um, not only for obviously going through all this, but you know, I'm, I'm really proud of myself for not venturing into the deep realms of doubt and despair that I'd previously been known to go into, you know, um, just all of a sudden deciding that it's over and I have to just give up on everything. And I mean, like it, it drives me crazy, you know, and it's hard not to think what if, because like a year ago I was in this exact same position. I had stuff all booked and then I got a couple hiccups. I ended up taking a job. And you know, here we are a year later, basically like in the same position I could have been in, you know, and I'm proud of myself because, you know, I kept working, even taking the job and everything else. I built up a, a foundation that I feel like I'm in a better place to succeed, right? And, you know, I feel stronger and more confident in myself. And 
um, I know this is going to work this time, uh, you know, or, but that, that's the thing is like, I know now it would have worked all of those times if I just had these, these tools that I have now, or if I just believed in myself enough, you know, and of course, like even in this time, a bit of doubt did stir up, but you know, it was a lot different than, than I've ever experienced before. I was looking at it in a different way, you know, uh, I kept saying that even if it did fail or if it did fall through. It would be a learning experience, you know, and just the interest and response was was a positive affirmation, right? You know, and I've gotten a few of these I've, I, that I almost had booked and I didn't give up at any point. I just kept pushing and pushing, you know, and and here we are, right? Like here it is, you know, and the overall feeling I had during this experience was one of optimism, right? Like and confidence. Instead of those feelings being in the minority, they were dominant, dominant aspects of my mood. You know, I just kept believing in myself. I kept believing this was going to happen, you know, and one of the most important, you know, and I think monumental in some ways for me anyways, um, was that I stuck to all my routines. You know, um, I kept up with my meditation. I kept journaling daily affirmations, right? Like some of the journaling sessions were not pleasant, like, but that's that negative stream of consciousness. Like instead of like having it in here and fester in my own head, just get it out on the page and get rid of it. I don't want it in there, man. And you can see it out on the page and all of a sudden, you know, it's bullshit. You know, it's not real, right? It's not true beliefs. It's like just the monkey brain, man, trying to get in on you. It's not real, you know? And I knew that this time and I kept it up and I have these affirmations and in the journal, in my meditation, everything, like every night I have an affirmation that it literally, it starts. So it's 10 points that in the next six months are going to happen. I'm going to make them happen. And number one on that list for the last three months has been, I'm booking an event in February and it's going to be amazing. When this one came up, I changed it to, I'm booking an event on February 22nd and it's going to be amazing. That first part is done, complete. I got it, and I got that feeling. The same feeling I envisioned. I imagined what it was gonna feel like when I got it, and here I am, feeling like it, sharing it with you right now. <laughs> Taking this video, and I can see that feeling on my own face, and it feels fucking amazing. Pardon my language, but it feels amazing. Man, you know, and it's, it's just crazy. Like, I just didn't think that I would have that in me. You know, and it's just keep going, keep working, keep doing it, believe in yourself. And you know, who knows? Uh, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the week brings. Like who knows, maybe I'll even have another, another one booked for this month because that's my goal now is get another one. Just keep going, keep climbing, right? Hit that valley, keep working, keep grinding. That's it, you know? So anyway, well, that's my little Tuesday update. Um, I'm excited to see what the rest of the week brings. I'm excited that I got to share this with people. Um, hell, you know what? Not even keeping it all inside. I hope you get inspired, man. It's like, you got this. Everybody's got this. You just got to work at it. Believe in yourself and the, the things will unfold for you. Uh, trust me on this one. <laughs> it feels pretty awesome. So anyway, talk soon and I hope everyone has a wonderful day filled with a deep sense of peace profound and uh yeah smile my man enjoy life have a great day ciao